everyone. I'm Marie Bliston, the host of Classroom Close-Up New Jersey. Today we'd like to kick off this episode with an unconference. In case that term is unfamiliar, here's a little background. Conferences can be expensive and sometimes there can be barriers to real participation. The idea for the unconference was a response to all of that to create a more spontaneous, participant-driven gathering with lots of open discussion where the agenda is determined only after it begins. These gatherings offer a great opportunity for professional development. So now we bring you to an unconference for educators. This is EdCamp STEAM. Teachers love the experience of an aha moment. I mean, and the reality of this experience is it's all endorphin releasing aha moments. And the only difference is instead of with a, with a student, you're seeing aha moments with your colleagues. And it's absolutely just as empowering and just as exciting. Educators came together to share best practices and explore educational technologies at EdCamp STEAM, an innovative professional development event aimed at exploring the intersection of science, technology, engineering, the arts, and math. The STEAM movement expands the popular STEM concept with the notion that true innovation requires the ability to combine science and technology with art and design. There's a couple of sessions on the board that say, how do we put the A, right? How do we put the arts in the STEAM? And that's a question that we're hoping that we have people working on today. EdCamp STEAM is what is known as an unconference. Free and non-commercial, it has no predetermined sessions. Participants generate the agenda on the day of the event, and all sessions are discussion focused. This is our uh, session board for the day. It starts off completely blank. Uh, as you can see down here, some sessions still don't have uh, a title. And teachers, our educators, put up an idea that they have for a discussion and write it in and put it in the space. I was a little nervous about coming to Ed Camp because I'm like, well, what if I don't like any of the sessions? But as they start filling in, it's, it is really kind of kind of fascinating. So I'm looking forward to the microblogging with Twitter and the claymation because um, we're always looking for math projects that link the math and science together. So I, yeah, I think, I, I think it's going to be a good day. I'm actually going to present one. I'm going to talk about how do we track evidence using the STEAM um, concepts in education. How can we effectively track those ideas? EdCamp inspires educators uh, because it, it really recognizes them as professionals. Uh, at, a, at a traditional conference, the, the expertise is usually in front of the room running the session. At EdCamp, we say, you're all experts. You bring expertise in a wide variety of fields, and uh, we ask that you, you share that with, with each other. I just want to see what's going on. I, uh, I'm starting an after-school club for, for the kids teaching Scratch and I just want to see what other people have been doing and, and just take a look at some of the technology, look at Makey Makey, uh, get to meet some people. That's probably the most important thing is the networking for me. This is the opportunity for all educators, administrators, I don't care who you are, I don't care where you're at, I don't care what you're doing. You have the chance to go out and get meaningful, productive, positive professional development. That's clutch. Pretty much everyone is welcome. All educators, we've got parents here with their children, school board members, anybody involved in K-12. Along with the wide array of discussions, this year's EdCamp STEAM included hands-on activities. So we have a maker space today, what we're calling the Brainery, and that's a section where people are able to try different things on. And it could be something as simple as science experiments that you could do in your own kitchen at home to more complicated of using a microcomputer to watch videos on your old TV screen. We're going to be showing the attendees how they could easily take a simple battery-operated toy and adapt it um, for so somebody with a disability can use it with an accessible switch. So for example, we brought sample switches, so if you had a child who had impaired fine motor control and they couldn't access the buttons to turn this car and make it go, by adapting it through soldering it or different alligator clips, using alligator clips, you can add a port for a switch. So then, then the child could just hit the button or the ability switch and make the car go. EdCamp STEAM is a themed version of the popular EdCamps the first of which was held in 2010 in Philadelphia. Since then, there have been over 200 EdCamp unconferences and a foundation was created to help teachers and other educational stakeholders organize their own EdCamps. We've been on, I think, six of the seven continents 
um, and we're continuing to grow every day. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot to organize an EdCamp, just a group of passionate folks, a generous sponsor to provide a facility, some food, and a bunch of creative educators. People are generally very excited after an EdCamp, and, uh, and the nice thing about this type of event is that there's, there's a lot of community building that goes on here, and uh, the connections they make are long-lasting. So the, the conversations that people have during their sessions and in the hallway, uh, they continue for a long time, and sometimes people make uh, very long-lasting professional connections at, at these events, and, uh, and neat things come from them.